Hey guys, I'm Tim. I'm with HTC Esports. We're talking to TSM today. Um, coming off of an incredible set of games yesterday, uh, you guys ended up scoring 30 points ahead of second, leading the pack right now with over 800 points. Um, just in general, how did, how did you feel going into the event? Uh, you've been doing pretty well in all the online leagues. You've been consistently doing you know, everything you can to get your performances up, practicing a lot. I know you guys have been practicing a lot with European teams. Um, Coming into the event, how did you feel? Uh, did you feel like you were ready and prepared? And uh, I guess, what was your mindset heading into LAN? I think we were basically as prepared as we could be. Obviously, Battle Royale is still a game based heavily in RNG, so anything can happen. Uh, we're playing pretty heavily against the meta right now, so it took a lot of preparation, a lot of uh, thought into what we wanted to do, spend a lot of time. Luckily, we got a chance to boot camp and uh, I think that helped us improve significantly. Awesome. And um, how about, I guess in general, you, you just mentioned, you know, you're playing against the meta. You guys are kind of actually not like revolutionizing the game, but you're kind of changing the way it's played. You're upping the pace a bit. Um, is that on purpose? Did you guys intentionally say, hey, like, this is how everybody's playing. We should change it up. Or is that just the style that came to you naturally? We, we just wanted to be away from all the kind of mayhem of the first circle. Everybody goes to the center. So it's you know, you play a game where you're kind of just hoping for the best when you go to the center in the first circle. And the, the, cent the center of the first circle doesn't really matter. Like, it's not really where the game ends. It can tick so far away from the center of the first circle. So to us, there's not really much point in being in the center of the first. So we, we like to see kind of where it's going to end up and then make a push towards the end, towards like the third circle. Definitely. Um I haven't seen you guys do a lot of like uh, compound exchanges and stuff like that. Um, is that something you guys are looking to incorporate into your play? Um, or are you just trying to figure, like, go off the style you have now, kind of figure things out as you go? Or is it just what's comfortable and what happens in the moment? If need be, we would do something like that in the future. But that's not the style of play that we want, really. That's not how we enjoy playing the game. And we felt that if we played in a way that we enjoyed, we'd be more successful and it's worked for us. So basically, we feel that doing those things can kind of whittle away numbers and the longer you can take your four-man team into the game the more success that you'll have overall usually so that's what we try to do is try to preserve the four-man yeah you have to play what feels comfortable to you guys yeah. um yeah so how about the the service here or, or i guess more so the, the land client the land experience are you enjoying the pcs how's everything running for you guys at the event um is it smooth in game are you noticing a difference between the a, a big difference between online play and here the tick rate is improved obviously so how does it feel it's, compared to online it's better a, it's not that much different i'll really? be honest yeah the the hit detection is slightly better but um the server fps is still really bad on rotations because everybody's in a car like you know the matter is to have four cars per team um and then when you have 20 teams doing that it's a lot of cars driving around and and the the fps of the server isn't so good on rotations but i mean you are right it is it is better between the times of rotations so do you think that that's that should still remain the number one priority is just getting the game optimized to that point where there's lag isn't really an issue on land and i guess off of that what is your your next step what's the thing you want to see implemented into the game right away i just i just want a decent fixed i just want the performance improved really yeah I think we have uh, a lot of ideas that we're going to try to communicate after the event is over a lot of things that we'd like to see for the competitive side moving forward so the game's there it's sold two million copies it's a good game they don't really need to add so much to it they just need to improve on what they've got I think yeah it seems like one of the appeals of PUBG is that kind of the simplicity of you know being able to just get in there grab some guns and shoot um, the desert map, obviously, that's coming out is improved in that it has less water. Um, I know there's been a lot of complaints from pro players about how there's still water. Uh, do you want to see a map with no water at all? I think that they can make changes in the game that uh, makes water uh, okay to have. Obviously, there's some certain things that are, they have in the game now, boats and uh, the addition of jet skis. Water can be fun. I think it, there just need to be some tweaks to uh, make sure that it's not basically a broken experience that we've seen several times over in competitive. Sweet. Um, how about you guys? Um, what do you, I know you play a certain way to win. Um, is that also the, the way you enjoy playing the most? 
Is that what comes naturally to you? Because um, obviously you play the optimal style for victory. Yeah, well, enjoyment factor, you'd rather drop school every round and go and kill everyone, you know, but right. um, there is enjoyment in positioning ourselves tactically. We like looking back on VODs and seeing where we come into the circle and loving the fact that we're picking really good areas to come into. We're not picking compounds that are taken, we're doing things right. And uh, there's enjoyment to be taken out of doing things strategically like that rather than just shooting everybody in the face. Yeah, but I mean, speaking of shooting everybody in the face, you guys are leading the pack right now. Um, overall, you guys are actually, you just picked up the last round win last night uh, in the fourth game. So coming in today, uh, did you guys review a ton of VOD? Did you figure out what's going on? Do you feel comfortable? Do you feel like you played at your best yesterday? Or are you still kind of climbing up and getting together and you can be more at your peak today? Yeah, I mean, we're always looking to improve. Even if we had won every round yesterday, we, we would pick the things that we felt we could improve on. Um, obviously, first round was our biggest weakness. We, we could have a, a bigger lead going in today if we had uh, improved in our first round. So that's something we looked at a lot. We watched all the VOD and uh, absolutely. I mean, it's really nice being where we are right now. Obviously, uh, now we just have to remain consistent to finish out the day, hopefully we don't have to make up a lot of ground, which is really nice. Uh, it's a good feeling, but uh, it's still anybody's game. Anybody could come from behind, string a few wins together and be right up there at the top. Definitely. Um, yeah, so I guess um, I just want to ask you, uh, I don't want to talk about strategy at all, but what's your mindset coming in today? Are you just looking to continue off of yesterday, play to win, play to keep the lead, or are you going to look maybe to sit back, hold your lead, play a little safer? Or I guess what I want to ask is how, are, how do you feel? How do you feel coming in? Do you feel confident? Do you feel strong off your lead? Or do you just want to take it game by game? I feel confident. I feel, I don't really feel anything about the lead. It's like Smack said, it's good that we're in this position, but it doesn't mean anything really. We have to keep doing what we've done so far, stick to our game and um, be prepared for any situation because we know some teams might try uh, some different strats and try and come after us now because we are leading, but um, we just have to stick to the game and keep doing what we're good, what, what we're good at. Yeah, um, actually coming to, coming in to together, you guys were kind of a, like so you guys had a mix of like Arma players and, and things like that. And you guys really rose quickly, honestly, in terms of the level of the team. Um, was that something you guys got together and were like, we're not, not just gonna be a group of influencers. We really wanna take this game seriously and play to win. Was that originally the goal from the start? You guys just got together and were like, let's do this? Absolutely, I mean, uh... We were kind of viewed that way at first, a group of streamers just playing the game and we weren't going to be competitively uh, uh, viable as a team, but we wanted to work hard and prove that we, we could do it. And I think that we have. Sweet, so uh, how about the teams at the event? Who's played the scariest? Who's felt the, the hardest to play against or who's given you the roughest time? You they're not given us team and player, so. They're not giving us the roughest time because we've avoided each other, but AAA are good. I'm yeah, scared of AAA, team. you know, like if, if we, if we come into contact with them, it's, it's going to be a, a difficult fight. But then we, well, I didn't, I was already dead, but these guys 3v4 FaZe uh, yesterday in one of the games and FaZe are a really, really good team. So if, if, we can, if we can do that against FaZe, I think we can do that against anyone. But AAA are good. Awesome. So real quick, favorite gun, favorite attachment and why? Um, I mean, I'm, I have to go with the AWM. The gun just feels so, so good to shoot. Uh, I guess, I mean, picking an 8x to throw on top of it. It's, uh, I, I, I think I enjoy the game the most whenever I have an AWM in my hands. I, I like the scar. I just like spraying people. And uh, probably a vert grip. If I was, I have to pick one, a vert grip on this. Uh, sorry, an angle grip on the scar is, is my favorite. Yeah, it's definitely. Awesome, man. I appreciate your guys' time. Um, is there anything you want to say to the fans? Yeah, we appreciate the support as always. You guys are the best, and uh, hope we can continue to perform for you guys. Great. Best of luck in your games today. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Great.